court's going to call 22 CRI 189, State of Ohio versus Stanley Gardner. Matters set for a <clears throat> further hearing on a not guilty of reason of insanity plea. Uh, we are conducting that hearing by remote video. The defendant is appearing remotely. Mr. Gardner, do you consent to having this hearing by video? Yes, I do, Judge. The defendant's attorney, Don Wick, is also present. Prior to going on the record, I did inquire as to whether the defendant and his attorney needed to speak privately. They indicated that was not necessary. On behalf of the state of Ohio's Ashland County Prosecuting Attorney, Christopher Tunnell. Uh, a little bit of background here. The Defendant filed a, a motion to enter a plea of not guilty by reason of insanity on May 1st, 2023. Um, on a hearing or at a hearing on August 11th, 2023, court did admit a, a finding from Dr. O'Reilly from Forensic Five Center, uh, which was dated July 27th, 2023, indicating that the defendant was not experiencing a severe mental defect or disease at the time of the offense and was capable of understanding the wrongfulness of his acts at the time charged. <clears throat> at that hearing, Attorney Wick, you had requested a second evaluation pursuant to 2945-371. Uh, we scheduled the matter, I think, at that time for a, a hearing in September. Uh, there was a motion to continue, which was granted. Uh, a secondary evalu evaluator was approved by the court on September 28th, 2023. We're now here for a hearing on that. Um, however, Mr. Wick, it's my understanding that report is not done. Is that correct? That That's correct, Your Honor. you have any other updates as to the status of it? Your Honor, uh, discussing with, uh, with my evaluator whether or not uh, it would be best to proceed with a second evaluation or rather to request that I be able to engage uh, Dr. Jansen as a witness to testify at trial based on the limited conversations that we have had uh, relative after the court approved the September 28th uh, allotment of funds, uh, it would appear, Your Honor, that uh, I would be withdrawing the uh, request for a second evaluator and will be filing a motion for uh, funds uh, for uh, an expert in the trial setting. Okay. He's still going to need to prepare a report, though. Well, his report, yes, but it would be a, not in terms of um, incompetency, but rather a part of a defense, Your Honor. Okay. Well, um, Mr. Janell, do you have any thoughts? I have a lot of thoughts. Um, so if I understand it correctly... Is the defense conceding the competency issue at this point? Yes. Okay. So what you're looking for then is a, is funds for an expert to testify on defendant's behalf at trial, I guess, in relation to whatever defense uh, is likely Correct. to be asserted. Okay. Correct. Yep. Well, um, I suppose at this point, uh, we should get it on track for a trial. Uh, that's still going to give you some time, Mr. Wick, to figure out exactly what your your plan is, because looking at the calendar, I, I'm assuming this is one we should block off two weeks. Uh, I don't really have anything available till the end of February uh, in that kind of capacity. So I'm looking at February 27th would be the start of it. That's fine, Your Honor. I'm open. Yep. We should be able to do that. All right. The court is going to schedule the matter for trial uh, to begin Tuesday, October 20, or October, February 27th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. Um, 
Well, I guess as we talk about evaluations, everybody's expert opinion reports have to be in exchange 21 days prior to trial, which call that February 1st, give or take. Uh, that gives us December and January. Is that a reasonable is that a reasonable time frame at this point? Based on my conversations, my my expert uh, has done some preliminary work and will just need really just an interview and a few medical records. So yes. Okay. Yes, uh, Mr. Tunnell, I don't know if this is what you're getting at, but if if you get an expert report setting for something you're not expecting uh, and you need your own expert at that point, I mean, the court would entertain a motion to continue on that basis. Yeah. I, and, and full disclosure, I've got one. Okay. I've got an expert. He's standing by. I haven't, uh, you know, formalized anything with him as far as trial dates and whatnot. Um, I believe the case law uh, in the context of the facts of this allow the state's expert to conduct um, an examination, if you will, of the defendant um, as part of uh, compiling his report. So uh, okay. I'm going to look into that um, a little more deeply to see what we need to get that done, um, you know, and then check. I'll check as far as trial with him and say, hey, by the beginning of February, what did what do you need to get that done? And if he can't get that done, I'll I'll let the court know as soon as I can. Okay. I mean, this one's getting a little long in the tooth, so I'd like to get moving on it. Uh, yes, it is. Had had we known that the we weren't waiting around on the second evaluation, I'd be a little more prepared on that uh, that issue. Okay. All right. Well, we will set it for the twenty seventh. Uh, plan on blocking two weeks. Anything further we can do today, Attorney Wick? I have nothing, Your Honor. Thank you. Attorney Tunnell? No, thank you. All right, gentlemen. This will be in recess. Thank you.